Chris Noth has been dropped by his talent agency amid accusations of rape and sexual assault as a third woman has come out and spoken about her alleged experience with him. Chris has denied all of the claims. On December 17th, a spokesperson for the A3 Artists Agency told Deadline that Chris, who recently reprised his role of Mr. Big on the Sex and the City sequel series, and just like that, is no longer a client without elaborating. And according to Deadline, Chris, who is a married father of two, has not commented on his departure from the group, which he joined less than three months ago. Hours after the news broke, the Daily Beast reported that a 30-year-old female tech executive alleged that Chris sexually assaulted her in 2010 at a New York City restaurant while she worked as a hostess and lounge singer. The woman claimed she was only 18 years old at the time. She also told the outlet that Chris groped her and repeatedly pulled her onto his lap, which, quote, confused her at the time because on some level it was exciting. The woman said at the end of her shift, around 1 a.m., she headed to the office to collect her paycheck and Chris followed her and initiated a sexual act, after which she pushed him away. She said, quote, he wasn't hearing no, but he heard me when I said not here and convinced him that I would meet him somewhere else. The woman said Chris stopped and she was able to leave, after which he told her he would send a car once he got to his apartment and exited the restaurant. She said she returned home without the intention of meeting up with Chris, who allegedly texted her for her address. She said she did not reply. Meanwhile, Chris's rep shared in a statement to NBC News and other outlets, quote, the story is a complete fabrication and the alleged accounts detailed throughout read like a piece of bad fiction. Chris has no knowledge of who this individual is and, as stated yesterday, has and would never cross that line. A day before Deadline reported that Chris was dropped by his agency, The Hollywood Reporter published separate accounts by two women, one of which alleged that Chris raped her at his L.A. apartment in 2004, and another who accused him of sexually assaulting her in 2015 at his home in New York City. Chris shared a statement in response to the allegations. He said, quote, The accusations against me made by individuals I met years, even decades ago, are categorically false. These stories could have been from 30 years ago or 30 days ago. No always means no. That is a line I did not cross. The encounters were consensual. It's difficult not to question the timing of these stories coming out. I don't know for certain why they are surfacing now, but I do know this, I did not assault these women. E! News has not spoken to the women who have not been identified by their full names, and spokespeople for the police in both Los Angeles and New York told E! News that no reports have been made about the alleged incidents. Meanwhile, Chris's attorney said in a statement, quote, no one from any law enforcement agency has contacted Chris or any of his representatives. Obviously, if anyone does reach out, we will cooperate fully.